We've got art to display. It's Thursday. The Thursday is all about art. Ogenetega Ekpokobe is a sculptor who obtained a BA in Fine Applied Arts from the University of Benin. He says his sculptures are a reflection of his personal experiences and a view of societal occurrences. Now, of course, he is going to be here. Uh, oh, he is already here. How are you doing, man? I'm good. good a reflection man. of your personal experience. Yeah. I am trying to think of what experience this particular work came out from. And oh, I am just seeing this now. This is 10 Kobo, 25 Kobo, 25 Kobo. All of these are made of coins. Yes. Legal tender at some point because it's no longer legal tender. How did you get all of uh, the coins, first of all, to, to, to uh, produce this? Basically, we, I just outsource for them. I go into the banks to ask for coins. Sometimes oh. I find it difficult two, three months before even getting to reach that coin. So um, one of the things that drew my attention to the Nigerian coin is the, the loss of value. The, we have, the, 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 the currency are so beautiful that we've, we've just abandoned them. Mm. So people no longer accept them. And then I have um, decided to mm. make use of them again. So it's more like redefining the, the money for another currency again. So instead of just having them piled up in a, in a single position, mm. um, I just tend to use them to express myself and then still bring them out for another purpose. Mm. I like this. I like this. What is this uh, work called? Um, this is Struggle. Struggle? Yes. Tell me about it. Well, um, basically, um, we find ourselves struggling all, a lot, mm. especially in this part of the country mm. where you struggle to breathe, you struggle to wake up, you struggle to go through work, you struggle to stay in traffic, you struggle to survive. And so um, my works are basically about the human struggle, what we go through day in, day out. So I tend to express myself because basically art is about self-expression. Mm. And so you, I, you get to see these things every day. And so these are things that we, we go through with fear, but we don't even know. So um, basically, my works are just um, reconnecting the, the human ideology and then what we might probably go through hmm. day in, day out. So that is what comes together to bring all of this. Um, how long does it take? Or how long did it take you to put this particular piece of art well, together? Well, I, I won't give you a time frame because uh, I, it depends on my mood. Okay. Sometimes I might start a piece and probably just get tired. And, and you have to... Get, for get to yeah, get to think again and then probably go back to it. So if I'm in a good mood, two, three days, sometimes one, one week, sometimes one month, depending on my you mood. You had to weld. There was welding involved in this and all of that. What, what are the hazards of this? How does one ensure that you do this in a safe environment or in a safe manner? Well, um, coming to that, um, sculpture isn't something you can do in the comfort of your, your, your yeah. room or your okay. living room. Um, I am... Um, an intern on that studio, Universal okay. Studios of Art, National Theatre in Gomu, Lagos. We have a group of 33 professional artists. Wonderful. Sculptors, painters, wood carvers, and then we have about 100 IT students from different schools all over the country. Wonderful. So we are a group of artists, and then we have enough space that can contain everyone. Mm. So you get to have your own studio space where you can take charge of okay, your... This is part of the space. I see uh, someone here with uh, the headgear, the Roman headgear, yeah. a different... So, oh, wow, now this is quite something. This is quite something. Okay, so now uh, this other one now, if it, if it puts you, you... Do you have to do the welding or do you direct someone to do it or you, you do every single part of this? I do my you weld yourself. myself, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. I like this. The struggle. You named it struggle, right? Okay, let's talk about this one. This one here that we can see here. This, uh, what, is, is, is it abstract? Can I say it's abstract? Yes, that's abstract. It's abstract, yes. an abstract art, yeah. What are you trying to depict with this one? I wish I could take a closer look now. Um, what, is, what is that art? What are well, you um, basically, I play with forms. Okay. Because um, right from my years of schooling, my friends call me lines and... Curves. Lines and curves. Yes, because I like to play lines and curves. So um, basically when I carve wood, I basically carve um, abstract faces because um, it gives me the joy to go through the flow of the round forms or the straight lines. So I just uh, tend to represent my ideas in lines and forms when it comes to wood carving. What wood is this carved from? I would love to. Let me, let me, let me, let me hold it. Let me take a look at it so that people can get to see it better. What wood is this carved from? This is upper wood. Upper wood. Yes. It's heavy. Yes. 
Wow. How, I mean, it, 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 must, it must be hard to carve something because of the weight. I'm thinking that it must be hard to carve. Um, it, it's hard work to carve this. This took me just three hours. Just three hours. Of then you must have used some automated kind of uh, No, equipment. manual. Manually? I carve manually. But you do you do you, you do have automated uh, yes. equipment that one can yeah. use yes. if you if yes. you want to. If you ever want to, yes. All right, wonderful. So this is called what is this called? Um I'm yet to tell you. Yet to, yeah, yes. yet to it's just I understand that. I understand that. But wow, this is this looks like something that a uh, hundred years from now some people might want to put somewhere in a museum or something. It's 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 it's, it's remarkable. I love, I love this. But let's, but you, we just ran up, you talking about you as an artist and all of that. Um, where did this all start for you? Where did the love for this start? And how did you, you know, push up, all up until this point? Well, um, I was born creative. Um, mm. Started from my childhood. Um, I was glued to my sketch pad instead of my books. I never liked reading. I liked drawing. I liked representing my ideas in lines, in sketches and what have you. So I developed the habit of just practicing and then throughout the years I after graduating from secondary school I followed my education in art University of Benin. I like that and I like that you could go through arts but let's uh, let's round up with this how much can I get a piece like this a piece like this just just tell me um, for, for the wood carving you could get that for 150 but this one yes okay that's wonderful and how about this one this should go for about 400 okay now that's quite something well done well done and uh, Here's me wishing you the best and uh, keep those creative juices flowing. Thank you. Well done. All right, that's it. We had uh, Tega, of course, and we spoke about all his meaning with art. And this is really something. Mazino might want to buy this one. I know he will definitely want to keep this one his pal. We'll take this time out now and go anywhere. When we get back, it's our final guest of the day. <laughs>